Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for an absolutely beautiful example. This is a Jaguar XF, it's the 2.2 automatic diesel, and it's the SE business model. Finished in this absolutely stunning grey metallic. Um, the car, as you can see here, is currently on K77 KBO. Worth pointing out, whilst it's on that plate, it is going through a plate transfer currently, uh, which is obviously taking a little bit longer in this uh, current climate. And the car will be going on as soon as possible onto LJ13 YWF. So under no illusions that the private plate stays on the car because it doesn't. That goes back to the previous owner quite clearly. Um, but the car is in absolutely stunning condition. Absolutely amazing condition throughout, inside and out. Front of the car, extraordinarily clean. Bumper is exhibiting no marks. Bonnet, again. You know, you know, there will be somewhere the odd tiny little stone chip, um, but they are virtually minuscule. Coming down the near side, passenger side, and it is absolutely mirror smooth in the panels. I can't see any obvious blemishes on there at all. Um, near side front alloy, absolutely perfect. And then panels down this side, really, really beautiful. Such a lovely stance from the back, it's very sort of typical of the Jaguar breed. Looks absolutely beautiful. And back the car again, absolutely unmarked there. Offside, driver's side, as with the near side, can't see any marks on the panel work at all. It has to be one of the very, very best examples anywhere in the country. Worth pointing out, the chap had uh, new front discs and pads fitted the car not long before I'll exchange it into us, plus two new batteries actually as well. It's coming to the back of the car now. Lovely colour combination in this car, looks absolutely stunning. Um, back of the car, as with the front, in absolutely pristine condition. All the footwell areas, all the carpet areas, being just treated so gently and with you know real love and care looking after this car. And finally, driver's door card again, absolutely unmarked. Footwell areas all wonderfully clean and tidy. And driver's seat again, one that takes all the wear really, and it's nothing at all worth mentioning on there. So sat inside the car now, uh, just to start the car, obviously push button starts on these, if I push that down, press and hold, see the, that's the pop up, but it really is an absolutely stunning interior on the car. Um, just to quickly show you, obviously vents, auto opening on there, all working exactly as they should. The dashboard looks absolutely as new in here, it's in just perfect condition. here for you just it's just a it's just been kept so so nicely this car really really has every little nook and cranny been kept wonderfully a beautifully styled car everything working exactly as it should you can see there sat now for operational air conditioning is lovely and cold in the car dashboard which is a wonderful Jaguar dashboard in the car showing 48,784 miles there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all whilst the engine's in operation but it is a car where the video simply cannot and will not do justice to it. It needs to be seen in the flesh in every single way. Um, cars going off for service and an MOT independently of us, um, hopefully tomorrow. Um, so all the mechanicals will be checked out the vehicle. Right then, it's just a quick road test video. Uh, this is for a Jaguar and it's the XF 2.2 automatic diesel and it's the SC business model. Uh, this particular car is registered, if I can read it, LJ13YWF, 
and mileage at the start of the road test is 48,778 miles. The reason for doing these videos very simply is that we basically want people who are looking at the cars online and in adverts to actually see those very cars in operation so that's why we do it so the car you've seen advertised this is the car that's in the advert there um, the reason for it is that you know we know to our own cost just how frustrating it can be to go and view a car which can look great in the description in the photographs only to get there to find out it's actually got a couple of issues which you clearly should have been told about uh, the most common things are kind of like warning lights or something wrong you know when you're driving along in the vehicle uh, so hence that's why we do it so it is critical in that sense it's also done on part of the road test route any prospective buyer would go on hopefully that would then be representative of what you'd feel yourself should you be offered a test drive in the car uh, car itself obviously it's been a very well maintained car um, this car as I may have mentioned in the walk around video which the way it's edited I do them after these ones so quite often the road test video comes on the advert alone and then the walk around comes later when the weather allows me to do it it's just the way it works um, but basically this car's come in as a part exchange to us and if I'm brutally honest with you it's the first Jaguar XF I've ever driven sat in looked at well not looked at obviously but you know certainly driven um, and I have to say a very very impressive car indeed uh, pretty much every single way um, engine starts absolutely instantly and saddle stood absolutely smooth even idle there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the vehicle um, so clear in that sense uh, the engine is very very nice it's got lots of power lots of torque very smooth really well isolated from the interior of the car there's certainly can't feel any vibrations coming into it the noise it makes is um as i said very muted indeed it's it's as i say very impressively quiet in the way it goes about its business um and it seems very well matched the automatic gearbox because that isn't always the case with automatic diesels they can be um an interesting combination to say the least where the gearbox doesn't quite know what the engine's doing in terms of sort of turbochargers and power delivery but this one seems really nicely matched the gearbox is very very smooth in operation um, it's very slick in the way it changes its gears which is important because obviously if there's any kind of issues with the gearbox it normally manifests itself in sort of thumpy clunky or indecisive gear changes but this is perfect um, but the whole engine gearbox combination just feels as new. It feels really, really tight and lots of power. Steering of the car is lovely in the vehicle, uh, but Jaguar tend to do this really very well indeed. It also feels incredibly tight and taut uh, without any obvious wear on it. It tracks absolutely dead straight. There's no vibrations at this, this speed or any speed up to the legal limit, uh, but it feels really tight in hand. But it's beautifully engineered you know it's got a lovely turn in there's minimal movement uh, but it's very fluid and it's just the whole feeling of the, the steering and chassis combination which has always been Jaguar's forte of course uh, just works seamlessly it's absolutely beautiful so you can just drive it very serenely and it kind of rewards it makes you feel quite special in that way so you just sort of fingertip just very slow gentle movements and it kind of wafts along as you'd expect from a Jaguar um, or you basically if you take it by its you know, scruff of its neck it really responds it's a very athletic car indeed um, the chassis is wonderful because it, it, it gives you a, a lovely flow through the corners with very kind of elegant movements really good body control on the car as well um, but of course it offers a simply wonderful uh, ride quality as you'd expect from any Jaguar um, so very well damped um, but it, you know it rides all the major bumps really well only sort of sharp ridges like any car can get caught out but uh, even those are very well done um, there's no kind of nasty noises coming from underneath the vehicle there's no sort of clatterings or thunks at all um, I've said that it's going to be going in for an independent MOT this week um, so all these things are going to be checked as a matter of course but as it as it stands I can't imagine picking up on anything 
The brakes, as you'll know from the advert, they've literally just been done. So it's got brand new discs and pads front and rear on the car. Um, so obviously a lot of money spent on it uh, prior to coming to us. Um, and so the brakes are absolutely fantastic on the car. You literally just touch them, they're there. There's no vibrations, no pulsing through the brake pedal at all. They're absolutely perfect. Looking around inside, you know, immediately see why people like Jaguars. I've got to be honest with you, that it is a lovely place to sit. The colour combination in here is absolutely beautiful. So it adds a real, um, it, it feels plush, it, it feels really nicely done, but it's light enough where even on sort of cloudier days, you don't feel it's not oppressively dark in here. It's just got a, just the right um, balance between sort of too light, too dark. It, it just just works basically, uh, and it looks fantastic. Everything's working perfectly. It's, it's obviously, sat nav put working perfectly there. Air conditioning pumps out absolutely ice cold air. Um, wonderful dashboard design. I love these kind of um, very kind of historic Jaguar type type dials for the rev count and um, speedo in a world of digital uh, dashboards I have to say this is a blessed relief to see something like this it looks absolutely stunning in the car and it works perfectly steering wheel looks and feels as new in hand again feels great all the switch gears are just the right point for you as well um, but you do feel very special driving one of these cars it just is a lovely place to sit and operate a car but i'm almost certainly preaching to the converted by saying this for if anyone's actually looking at this particular car um, as i said at the start of it it's only brief but it's only just to show the car in operation but it drives absolutely stunningly well so if anyone's sort of looking to travel you know long distance they can do so with absolute confidence because I, I can't i can't fault the car in any way in terms of the way it drives it drives absolutely perfectly as always though if you've got any questions about the car don't hesitate do give us a call